23 here back with another video in today's video we will be doing a uh, max transcendence uh, showcase on mine Jushiro the f one with the 14 star link now keep in mind I don't have him a max link slotted mostly because he is a good character I just haven't gotten around to it because there's been other characters I found more important but I will be doing a max link slot showcase on him in the near future so with the uh, max uh, transcendence he'll be doing some insane damage he's already gonna be doing insane damage like this so with um, so right now I've got the uh, I've got all 10 slots maxed out to level 10 with a SP slot with a uh, max SP roll of 500 so we are getting 1773 SP with an additional 2,394 on top. And then uh, we've got 1,341 focus with an additional 403, uh, 1140 attack with additional 171. We're not getting any additional defense. 2,052 stamina. And we're actually losing 615 on, because we lose 30 stamina with the fortification pill. So that's not as great, but considering we have... A lot of the stam, a lot of stamina. It's not that big of a deal. So the first build we're going to go into is the strong attack recharge build. So we got Candice, twelve uh, minus twelve recharge, Loopy, and Shinji. Then we're rocking a Zeta pill with thirty SP, um, a hunting cap with fifteen attack, thirty SP and thirty SP and fifteen SP, and a thirty thirty fortification pill, both SP rolls. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and get into this. Not going to take an ally. Or strong attack. Take a strong attack. Third strong attack is doing about 5,000 damage. You'd think it'd be higher than that. First strong attack again, we're doing about 5k. If we had length slots, this would definitely be hitting higher. So 5,096. Thousand forty five. We're basically doing the amount of damage we would do if we had link slots. So if we had the link slots on top of this, this is gonna be icing on the cake. His range could be a little bit better, to be honest with you. This Naz doing about 3k, that's really good. 5,650. 243. See, we can hit four on the special. So we did about four, 45,000 damage on the special, and that's without a tension tie, because I've got a max transcended. So just imagine the kind of numbers he's going to be hitting when he's maxly slotted. 
which I know he's an old character, but he's very good in epic raids, so he's definitely worth link slotting, if not just for that. Especially considering he's max transcendent, he's going to be doing insane amount of damage. Alright, so this next build we're going to be getting into is going to be a strong attack damage build. We are going to swap out the recharge links for strong attack damage links. So we're going to put the Yichigo on, Soyphone, and Shinji. Keep in mind he's going to be losing a lot of his recharge. He's going to—he's not going to—his recharge is going to be a little slow, but he still has his standard 14%. So we want to be getting set. Oh, hold on a minute. You just swap out this uh, Zeta pill for a. Um, Lieutenant's badge. Still getting the same amount of SP focus, kind of. 394. So we're going to be getting 95% strong attack damage. That's our 325 stand strong attack damage links. Now, you're not going to be running him strong attack damage. Your best bet's going to be recharge, or at least for epic raids. It really just depends on the situation. For this, you may need to run strong attack damage or strong or the Senkaizen with the one Senkaizen because of the fact that of how strong the enemies are and how high their health is. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. The second build strong attack damage and see what we can do with our numbers here. Nine thousand four hundred nine on the first strong attack. Second strong attack, about five thousand. It doesn't really have a wide range on it. It's a little I think it's a little mediocre. Nine thousand ninety nine seventy two for a strong attack. I like think that one's doing the most damage so far. No. All right, about 10K on the third strong attack. That's really good. Our attack's still doing about 9,700. Second strong attack, 6,000. First strong attack again. We didn't quite finish off that last enemy. So you can see the NAD's doing about 3K, 2 to 3K. First strong attack's hitting for about 10. I really don't like the middle one. It doesn't really have a good lot of range on it. The problem I have with this is, is it, it's a pushback, and it's kind of a problem. 10 counts are strong attack, because then the enemies get away and they still have health left, and that's an issue. But I really like the first and second, uh, first and third strong attack. 10, 10k on that. Ooh. Ten K for a strong attack. <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and use a special. So we did about forty five thousand damage, max damage. So I think it's a little bit higher, but I'm not sure. I guess I could have sworn we did 45 on the other one, too. Maybe it was 42. All right, we're going to get into one last build, and we're basically going to keep the same accessories, but we are going to swap out the uh, one of these uh, 25 uh, strong attack damage links for Ace and Kaizen link. And I guess it doesn't matter because since he's not link slotted, he's not losing stats either way. 
So, same stats here. Extra 171 attack. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the Senkaizen build. See what we can hit. First strong attack, 11k. Second strong attack, 6600. First strong attack, 11,000. 11, 12,000 on the third strong attack. Eleven K on the first one. Third strong attack about seven thousand. Eleven K on sec first again. Nad's doing about three or four K almost four K. First strong attack eleven K again. Twelve K third strong attack. Seven thousand on the second strong attack. 1st strong attack, 11k. 3rd strong attack, about 12. It's hard to tell. It's moving too fast. Huh? Let me slow it down a little bit. Alright, 11k. About 7 on the 2nd. And we're doing about 12 on the 1st strong attack again. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. See what we can do with the uh, see what we can hit number wise with the Sankaisen build on this special. So about 56k. So we are doing an additional We're doing it about, I think about, I might be off, but about an extra 9 or 10k damage. So that's actually, that's really good. I actually enjoyed the, the Sankaisen build quite a bit, do quite a bit of damage. Almost found it to be my favorite out of these, but I definitely say that the recharge is better overall because you get your strong attacks back faster. But the Sankaisen build is definitely better for bulk damage out front. Uh, that's basically, uh, Lost Agent Jushiro, uh, Transcendent Showcase in a nutshell. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like down below. Um, share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.